again. We're in rocky ground. It's been packed for years and years. So this is going to be a testament to the bull pull. So uh, will it pull it? Let's find out. Here we go. So we put it one, one time through the D ring. Wrap it around. Put it again through the D ring. And this is an absolute safe application for me. Now you can see I have plenty of pushing of power. I'm up above the post, so when it falls, it's not going to do anything. So, all right, here we go. Look at the ground moving. Here it comes. This is a lot of pressure. So we definitely want our bull pole to be straight up and down. All right, what's happening here? So what was happening was as we're pulling, this edge was hitting the edge of the bull pole and we were going nowhere. As you saw, we came to a stopping point. So we're gonna have to make a flat spot for the bull pole. Okay, and you can see right here, we want the base as close to the concrete as possible. So when it does come out, that's gonna be a lot of weight. So that, there again, we're just gonna let the bull pull go with the pipe. Here it comes. Well, it didn't fall on me, so that's good. So we're gonna bring it back into our setting. And there it is, folks. Look at that. So for all you folks out there that wanted to, or were questioning to see if it would pull concrete, this is really amazing. It sure can pull concrete. <laughs> you can see that is one heavy solid piece of concrete. That was buried almost two feet down in the ground. But at the angle, at the slope, with the no slip, double wrap chain, I myself was able to get this out. No harm to the tool, of course, and no harm to me.